Now with our exclusive interview with the American teen who served time behind bars in the Cayman Islands after breaking COVID quarantine. Skylar Mack is back in the U.S. and admitting she made a mistake. Janae Norman spoke with her. Good morning, Janae. Michael, good morning. You know, many people hear this story and they think privilege and they don't feel bad for the American woman who left the country, broke the law and ended up in prison for breaching quarantine in a pandemic. Skylar Mack knows that and she talked with us about her time behind bars with nothing to do but think about her decision that could have put so many others at risk. The anger, the disappointment, it's all justified. This morning, the 18-year-old American woman jailed in the Cayman Islands for breaking quarantine admits she was wrong. I deserved it. I was like, you know what? I made this mistake and it sucks, you know, but you, you did it to yourself. Skylar Mack was supposed to quarantine for 14 days after arriving on the island November 27th, but after just two days, she took off her geo-tracking bracelet, breaching quarantine to watch her boyfriend, a professional jet skier, compete in a race. That morning when you slipped off the tracking bracelet, you were breaking the law. Did you think of it that way at the time, like I am breaking the law? I, I mean... It was a conscious decision of being like, you know what? But I, I was also just, I don't, I don't, can't give you any good reason for it. Skyler says she tested negative for COVID. And though it is possible to still carry the deadly virus and infect others, she says she thought she'd be safe socially distancing at the beach. Do you think about if, if you had gotten someone sick? or if you had carried it, what could have happened or how you would have felt? Oh, definitely. I would have never been able to live with myself knowing that I could have been the reason that somebody could have even just been sick. It eats me up. Skylar and her 24-year-old boyfriend were both detained and initially ordered to pay a fine and complete 40 hours of community service. But that sentence was later increased to jail time. He started at 15 months and I had broke down. It was a very big jump from 40 hours community service to starting at 15 months in jail. The couple ultimately spending 32 days, including Christmas and New Year's, behind bars. Her family had hoped the U.S. government would intervene, believing Cayman authorities were making an example out of her. Now looking back on it, and if you can, take yourself out of the situation when you've got an American teen who goes over to a place, who bucks the rules, says, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to follow these precautions that are in place to keep people safe, to help save lives. Can you see why they would have wanted to make an example out of you? I, I, I fully do. It was a selfish decision. There's no reason that I can give you to grant me a second chance. I don't expect anybody to ever forgive me, but I would like for them to at least let me be able to show them that I did learn from it. Skylar and her boyfriend were both released just this past Friday. To this point, Skylar says she has never tested positive for COVID, and it doesn't appear that anyone at the beach got sick that day. But it's hard to overstate just how dangerous her decision could have been. Michael. Absolutely, Janae. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.